the holidays, it means that the temperatures are getting colder, the days are getting darker, and that means we're, we're turning up that heat in our house. And every time we turn up the heat, that means more money out of our pocket. These electricity uh, costs are kind of spiraling out of control, so we talked to an expert about how to try to keep those a little bit lower. In June of this year, the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, introduced the Clean Power Plan to cut carbon pollution from power plants by 30%. Many Americans have expressed concern that EPA's regulations will eliminate low-cost electricity and replace it with more expensive and less reliable electricity sources. Here to tell us about how we can voice our opinion is Jim L. Martin, chairman of the 60 Plus Association. Now, Jim, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I'd like to start off with, you know, what's going on and why is this so important to everybody? Well, quite frankly, the rules and regulations you just mentioned will impact every household in America with higher electricity prices, but most severely impacted will be senior citizens, those that we represent at the 60 Plus Association. And you know, the environmental agenda by this administration is there, there is, going to pre, is going to present some severe and very sweeping and unreliable standards and it's going to impact one segment, the energy industry. It's going to hurt senior citizens. It's supposed to be to help improve the environment, negligible improvement. Clearly, this is um, rules and regulations we're going to try to stop. And let me point out, too, so that no one thinks because we are known as a conservative senior citizens group, let me point out this is not about the political arena. Professor Lawrence Tribe who is known as the liberal lion, if you will, of the Harvard Law School, he taught, he had a young student named Barack Obama. He came out today and said essentially what we've done, he said these EPA regulations is an illegal power grab, unconstitutional. And so they're trying to do by, by regulation what they could not do by legislation, and we want to stop them because it's going to impact the pocketbooks of every person in America. So there's obviously been plenty of studies on this. So what have you found that really concerns you? I mean, we were talking about senior citizens and how it'll really impact them. Well, because the study after study shows that impacted most will be seniors who already pay a dis disproportionate share, if you will, of their disposable income for, electri for their electricity. I even see a health hazard on the horizon. Literally, folks can die this winter now you're down in Arizona, but I'm telling you right now, up in the Northeast, as it's getting colder and colder, senior citizens can can really die from not having the financial wherewithal to withstand these higher prices here in the dead of winter. So that's a health hazard, obviously, for for all of us, but particularly for senior citizens. Absolutely, and I'm originally from the Midwest, so I understand how how cold those winters can really get, <laughs> and it and it does. Um, it sounds like, you know, in Buffalo right now with all that snow, I mean, are you expecting oh. um, like blackouts then for these people with the, with the CPP, the EPA's clean power plan? Uh, yeah, I'm glad you brought that to, you mentioned that because someone has talked about cascading outages. That's a, that is a scary topic because quite honestly, you know, the power grid, which will be under more and more stress as we move along, by having less reliable energy out there to fuel our homes and other our other needs. But quite frankly, the power grid is it's kind of like an elevator. We take it for granted until you're stopped between floors. The power grid we take for granted until we suddenly are faced with brownouts or blackouts. So that's a big problem on the horizon. Absolutely, and when, when you think of the USA, you don't think of uh, blackouts and, and brownouts. Now, if people are looking for more information or to voice their concerns about this, where can they go? Well, first of all, they ought to voice their concerns with their governors, their local state officials. Get them engaged. Tell them we're going to stop these regulations before they impact further. Big loss of jobs obviously already occurring as industries are shut down. But we would like them to visit our website, which is www.60plus.org. That's 60plus.org. Now, Mr. Martin, I'd like to thank you for your time this morning. Um, morning, Blend viewers. Stick around because we'll be right back.